Well, it's been a little while since we've seen the gladiator actor Russell Crowe on the big screen. He's back with the new movie, Unhinged. Film critic Pam Powell gets the scoop from the movie studio. We've got Mark Gill, the president and CEO of Solstice Studios, to talk with us about his studio as well as the upcoming movie, Unhinged. Mark, thank you so much for joining us on CI Living today. Delighted to be here. Thank you for having me. Uh, we've got this unhinged movie starring Russell Crowe, and it's a road rage film that becomes an absolute nightmare for one young woman. This is also the first film to be released in theaters since COVID shut the doors back in March. Now, Solstice Studios is a younger studio, a smaller studio, but you've got big plans and you're making a bold statement with leading the way to bring audiences back to theaters. Can you share with us um, what your team went through to decide to, to make sure that you were leading the pack? I mean, you're leading all these big studios to say, this is the film to go see, this is what we're opening with. Yes, so COVID hit and we had planned to release the movie on September 4, and then a lot of films got delayed, including a very big one, A Quiet Place 2, which landed on September 4. So we started to fall or winter or spring or somewhere anywhere other than here. And then it became very clear to us that that was very full, not only with the existing movies that were planned for those dates, but all the delayed movies, and also the possibility that theaters would not be operating at 100% capacity for COVID rules. So then we started thinking about going earlier. And of course, many people said, you guys are crazy. Uh, but two things told us that we might not be. The first was uh, we talked to the owners of the big theater chains, and they told us about their safety protocols, which were incredibly thorough and impressive. And the second one was we commissioned a poll and we asked people in early May, if theaters were open in July, would you definitely go? The answer was 80% of Americans said they would definitely go. And that gave us the courage to be first. Okay, very good. And you've got, I was looking at your website and you have several films slated to be released. What made you decide to lead the way with Unhinged? It was ready first. And secondly, uh, we also looked at another survey which asked Americans, when you can go back to the movies, what kind of films do you want to see? And predictably, they said everything, animation, comedy, you name it. The fascinating question is, what do you most want to see? And the answer to that was thriller, which surprised us. And the reason, apparently, is that people said, when they're done well, that's the best way to forget my problems, because I just watched the movie. And I want to forget my problems. I don't know about you. It seems like every time you turn around, there's more health scares and economic worries. And, it's not easy, so I look forward to going to a theater and being able to put that all away for a couple hours. Now, movies give us a great escapism. There is no doubt about that. Um, now, I'm looking at, you know, as COVID-19 cases in the U.S. are still on the increase, unfortunately, in the United States. What element of this film's release will, like in your eyes, make it a success or a failure? So we're a modestly budgeted movie, it's $33 million. If by the end of our whole run in theaters over several weeks in the US, we earn 30 million in the box office, we're very happy. So that's much easier than if you have some $200 million super tanker movie where you'd have to do much better. Um, I'm curious, I wanna bounce back a little bit to that first question that I asked you and you said that um, the bigger movie chains are really impressing you with um, how they're doing safety. Can you tell me one example? I know there are a lot of people that are still not comfortable venturing out of their own backyard, let alone going to a movie theater. What impressed you the most and being willing to release this film in theaters? Well, it was a combination of about five things. First of all, the air filtration systems are worthy of a submarine. They're incredible. Um, second of all, the uh, distancing, the software they have, you cannot be within six feet of somebody else, period. Unless it's your family, of course. Uh, <laughs> the third thing is the way they're programming films so that you're not going to pass people in the lobby. They're not going to have films begin and end at the same time. They're staggering times. Fourth thing would be how they're doing touchless food everywhere they go. And the last thing that somebody pointed out to me is, unlike at a restaurant, you're not facing people uh, when uh, you're seeing a movie. They're in front of you. So you're not really, you know, to the extent that uh, there's any possibility of sharing, you know, a breath or whatever. That kind of goes away when nobody can really face you. Very good. Interesting. I, I, thank you for sharing that. Um, now, I've seen the movie. I'm not going to give anything away until Chuck and I review this later on in the week. Um, but I want to know, and I know Chuck and I have different viewpoints on what we took away from the film. What did you take away from the film? What message do you want viewers to come away with after seeing this incredibly intense movie? Well, first of all, road rage just happened to 82% of Americans, so we hope they relate to it and enjoy the ride and get a little cathartic relief. But if, if there's
there's a takeaway from it, it's yeah, maybe we ought to call calm down a little bit. <laughs> so, <laughs> not hop the horn so hard and not go so crazy on the person when they hop the horn at you. Gotta let it go. Very good. Great message to have. And can you tell me, Mark, what's next on Solstice Studios release schedule? Uh, we were about to start a film with Ben Affleck called Hypnotic. It was originally scheduled to begin in April, and it got shut down here in Los Angeles due to COVID. And uh, we are hopefully going to get it back up uh, and filming again in October. But it has not been easy. Oh, I'm sure that it hasn't. Good luck with that, and best of luck with Unhinged releasing in theaters, paving the way for viewers and theaters to open their doors again. Mark Gill, thank you for joining us on WCIA. Thank you for having me. And that interview will be on CILiving.tv. Coming up, how you can enjoy beautiful monarchs virtually and learn more about their environment. Plus, we're back in the CI kitchen with the poke shack, enjoying some island cuisine. Stick around.